Hello everyone, so in this video we will be discussing the derivatives of logarithmic functions. So last time from the previous um, session we have discussed about the derivatives of exponential functions. So now moving forward we'll be discussing the derivatives of logarithmic functions. So these are the derivatives of our logarithmic functions. So first we have the derivative of log u with base a that is equivalent to the derivative of our u with respect to x or the derivative of this expression with respect to x all over the original value of our u times log e with base a. So this is the derivative of our logarithm, logarithmic u with base a. Now we also have the derivative of ln u is equivalent to the derivative of the u with respect to x all over the original value of our u. So um, these are the two derivatives that we need to remember in order for us to solve for uh, logarithmic functions, to solve for the derivatives of logarithmic functions. So now let's st start um, answering some examples. So we have here our first example. We need to find the first derivative of our y or we need to find the y prime. So from here, as you can see, if you can recall from the previous slides, this x minus 1 raised to 3 is our u. So that this would become ln u. Our u again is x minus 1 cubed. And the derivative of that with respect to x is equivalent to 3x minus 1 squared times the derivative of the inner expression which is 1. So that being said, the derivative of our u with respect to x is just 3 times x minus 1 squared. Now, as we know, the derivative of ln u is just the derivative of our u with respect to x all over the original value of our u. So that being said, we can now find or we can now solve for the derivative of our y. So we have du over dx, which is 3 times x minus 1 squared all over the original value of our u, which is x minus 1 cubed. And as you can see, there are common terms between the numerator and the denominator, so we can just cancel x minus 1 squared and x minus 1 cubed. So we can cancel 2 from the cube. So that gives us the simplified value or the, the final answer with 3 over x minus 1. So this is now our y prime. Next example we have here, find y prime still um, the, from the equation y is equivalent to ln cos 3x. So as you can see from here, our u now is the cos 3x. So, so that gives us ln u. Okay, now after we identify our u, we need to also find the derivative of our u with respect to x. So as we all know, the derivative of cos is negative sign. So we have negative sign, copy the u, 3x, times the derivative of our u, which is just 3. So I'll just write it here before the trigonometric function. So this is now our derivative for the u. After that, after determining the u and the derivative of u with respect to x, we can now find the derivative of our y. So we have y prime is equivalent to du over dx. We have negative 3 sine 3x all over the original value of our u, which is cos 3x. Now, there is an equivalent identity for the sine over cos. If you can recall, the sine over cos is also equivalent to tangent. So that being said, we can replace sine over cos by negative by tangent 3x. So this is now our final answer. Okay, so we have another example here. We still have to find the y prime or the first derivative of our y. And our equation is y is equivalent to ln of sec x plus tan x. So from here, our u now is sec x plus tan x. So we have u is equivalent to sec x plus tan x. 
So after that, we have to find again the derivative of our u with respect to x. So the derivative of our secant x is sec, uh, secant x tan x. So we have sec x tangent x plus the derivative of our tangent, which is secant squared x. Okay, so after we have find the derivative of our u, we, we can now find the derivative of our y or the derivative of our equation. So we have, copying the du over dx, we have sec x tan x plus second squared x over the original value of our u, which is sec x plus tan x. X. So after that, we can still simplify this by factoring out the common in the common terms in the numerator in which the common is the secant x. So factoring out that one, we have sec x times tangent x plus one left of sec x here. That is all over our denominator, which is sec x plus tangent x. X. So as you can see, tangent x plus sec x is just basically equivalent to sec x plus tan x. So meaning to say we can cancel this one. So what we have left now is just secant x. So this is now our final answer. Next example, we have here find dy over dx for the given value of x. So meaning to say we still have to find the first derivative of our y with respect to x. But we have the value of our x here that we'll be replacing or substituting later on in order for us to find a constant value for the first derivative of our equation. So now we have here y is equivalent to log times log x, uh, log of log x where x is equivalent to 10. So from here, as you can see, our u now is log x. So this is our u. So that being said, our du over dx, as we know, the derivative of our log x is just equivalent to du over dx with all over u times log e with base a. So that is the derivative of our log. So that being said, our u from here is x. So we have 1 over x. The derivative of our u is, uh, the derivative of our x is 1 all over the original value, which is x, times log e. And since we don't have any base, no, we don't have any number in the base, so let's leave that as is. So that being said, we have an imaginary number of 1 here. So this is now the derivative of our u with respect to x. So after that, we can now find the derivative of our y. So we have, this is our du over dx. So we have 1 over x log e all over our original value of u, which is log x. And then after that, we can normalize or simplify our equation first before we substitute the value of x. So we have log e over x all over log x. Now we can multiply our log x here by the reciprocal. We can multiply the fraction. I mean, we can divide the fraction by multiplying with the reciprocal of our denominator, which is 1 over log x. Okay, so after that, we can erase this part in our denominator. Simplifying our fraction, we have log e all over x log x. Now, at x is equivalent to 10, we have y prime is equivalent to log e all over 10 log 10. So calculating this one, we will have the value of 0 0.043, an approximate value of 0 0.043. So this is now our final answer. The last example for this video is to find the derivative of our w 
or the W prime. So from here, we have T squared times cos ln T minus sine ln T. So that being said, as you can see, these are two terms which are multiplied together. So that means we have to use the product rule. So from the, uh, for, from the pr product rule, we can say that T squared is our U and cos ln T minus sine ln T is our V. So determining, we'll determine first the derivative of our u and v so that we can just substitute it later on. So we have u is equivalent to t squared. The derivative of our u with respect to t is equivalent to 2t. And then we have the derive uh, our v which is cos ln t minus sine ln t. And the derivative of our v with respect to t is the derivative of each of these terms. So the derivative of cos is negative sine, copying the, the value, uh, copying the angle here inside. We have ln t times the derivative of ln t, which is 1 over t, right? And then the derivative of sine, which is positive cos, but since this is minus sine, so that means negative cos ln t times 1 over t. So this is now the derivative of our um, v. So after that, we can now substitute it or we can do the product rule now. So we have w prime is equivalent to u dv plus v du. So u is t squared times our dv over dt, which is negative sine ln t l over t minus cos ln t l over t plus our v, which is cos ln t minus sine ln t times the derivative of our u with respect to t. So we have 2t. So after that, we can simplify our equation first before we proceed further. So we have t squared, theta t squared. And since this um, fractions here has the same denominator, we can just combine them together. So we have negative sine ln t minus cos ln t that is all over the denominator t. And then from here we have cos ln t times 2t. We have 2t cos ln t minus sine ln t times 2t. So we have 2t sine ln t. So after that we can now simplify more t squared divided by t you can cancel one of this and cancel the t here. So that gives us t times negative sine ln t minus cos ln t plus our 2t cos ln t minus 2t sine ln t. So we can still simplify this by distributing our t to the other terms. So we have t times negative sine lt that is negative t sine lt ln t minus t times cos ln t. So that gives us t cos ln t plus 2t cos ln t minus 2t sine ln t so as you can see they has common um they has common um terms so we have the negative t sine ln t we also have negative 2t sine ln t this one and this one so we can combine them together because they have the same base or they do have the same angle so we have negative t minus 2t that gives us negative 3t sine ln t. So let's just write it here. We have negative 3t sine ln t. And then we have negative t cos ln t and plus 2t cos ln t. So negative 1 plus 2 that is plus t 
cos L and T. So after that, there is common from both terms, which is T. So we can factor that out. So we have T times, let's write this one first since this is positive. So we have cos L and T minus 3 sine L and T. So I think there is no simplification um, needed for this one. So this is now our final answer. So I hope you learned something from this video and I'll see you on the next videos. Thank you.